Staying with news from India, adverse weather conditions are gripping the capital city of India. Delhi and surrounding areas, that is. This as a thick blanket of fog enveloped the city, causing visibility to plummet to nearly zero. Due to this dense fog, 12 vehicles crashed in a massive pileup on the Yamuna Expressway in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Many people were injured during the crash. Visuals from the site showed several damaged vehicles that included trucks and cars. The relentless cold wave continued to persist as the minimum temperature in the national capital region dropped to 7 degrees Celsius. The dense fog drastically reduced the visibility, creating an environment where navigating through the streets became really difficult. The headlights of the cars were seen struggling to pierce through the thick mist. Several vehicles were seen navigating cautiously to avoid unexpected obstacles. The Regional Meteorological Department is anticipating mainly clear skies in Delhi, but warns of dense to very dense fog in many areas. Now, the Delhi airport has issued a travel advisory to all its passengers on its official account of X, formerly Twitter. The authorities posted, and I'm quoting here, while landing and takeoffs continue at Delhi airport, flights that are not. Passengers are requested to contact the airline concerned for updated flight information. Any inconvenience caused is deeply regretted. As per the latest, at least 35 flights to and from Delhi have already been delayed. According to other reports, some 110 domestic and international flights have already been affected due to the fog. On the other hand, Northern Railways reported that around 25 trains headed to the national capital were also running late. Now this icy grip of winter is extending its reach all across North India. It has affected several states such as Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, Uttarakhand and Punjab. Moreover, the Weather Department of India has released a satellite image revealing the rapid expansion of fog over these states.